Hello and welcome back to Margo Easy Coding. I'm here today to present you with another video. Today we are going to talk about inpatient visits. So thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching my other videos and make sure that you're watching these videos in order so that they will make sense to you. So we have learned uh, to code when a patient sees the doctor at the office, in the office. So our place of service is 11. Consultation when the patient sees a specialist. Observation, one code for observation when the patient doesn't get admitted. And we have learned three codes for observation when the patient gets admitted. And we said that for those observation codes, our place of service is 22 outpatient because the patient have not been admitted. Go back to my previous video if you don't remember this or you don't know what I'm talking about. Because today we are going to talk about the patient has been admitted, okay? The patient is already in the hospital. The patient is going to stay in the hospital for more than 23 hours, two, three days, God knows. So for that, we have three codes for the initial inpatient visit, and we have three codes for the subsequent. So let me explain. Nine, nine, two two one nine nine two 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 and nine nine two two three is for the initial inpatient hospital visit in another words the doctor is gonna go see his or her patient in the hospital. The patient has already been admitted. So the doctor wants to get paid for seeing the patient in the hospital. So we have three calls for the initial. Initial meaning the first time. So let's say the, patient, the doctor saw the patient in the office. Okay, well that was in the office. How about if the doctor saw the patient in the emergency room? Well, that wasn't the emergency room. What about if the doctor saw the patient in the observation room? Well, that was the observation room. And each one of them have a different place of service. So now the patient is in the hospital. First of all, our place of service is 21. Very good. 21 for inpatient and the doctor is gonna go see the patient while the patient is in the hospital again for a low complexity problem intermediate and high complexity problem 992 Evaluation and management face to face. Remember? Right here, 222 two, two means initial inpatient hospital visit. And our 123 means time spent with a doctor, review of system, medical decision making, complexity of the problem. Same concept. Have you noticed that everything is the same concept? Same concept, And remember, we are in the evaluation and management at the first section of the CPT code book. Right now, we're going to be here for a while. So what about when um, the next day, doctor goes and see the patient again? Is he going to build with one of these? Nope because this is for the initial. So the second time the doctor goes to see the patient, that is the subsequent. 
okay? So for the subsequent visits, meaning is not the first time, meaning is not the initial, we have three codes, 992-31. 992 32 and 992 33. When the doctor goes to see the patient in the hospital for the second time, for the third time, for the fourth time, he can build the insurance company with one of these codes. This is subsequent inpatient hospital visit, place of service to anyone, okay? Initial, only one time. The doctor can only use this code one time while the patient is admitted. Then for the second, for the third, for the fourth, for how many times the doctor sees uh, the patient in the hospital, he can use this. Now, maybe today the doctor saw the patient due to a um, low complexity problem, but then tomorrow he goes again to see his patient, but the patient is not doing too good at all. So the doctor has to make a medical decision um, with high complexity. He spends more time with the patient, then it's okay. Then you can use the highest one, which is the 99233. Get the idea? And place of service to anyone. So very simple. When the place of service is not the office, is not emergency room. Let's go back. When the, pl when the place of service is not the office 11, when the place of service is not emergency 23, when the place of service is not outpatient 22, the patient is admitted, the patient is in the hospital, the patient is spending few days in the hospital, your place of service is 21, and for the doctor to get paid by the insurance companies, he can bill with these three for the initial, only one time. The next time, this this is the other, these are the other codes, 99231, 99233, 99232, um, I went backwards, 99231, 99232, and 99233. You know what I mean. I'm just trying to see you paying attention. Okay, so the doctor can only bill once from these three codes. However, the doctor can bill as many times as, as many times he goes to see the patient while the patient is in the hospital. So what about if the patient gets better and goes home? The doctor still wants to get paid for discharging the patient. See, Everything, the doctor gets paid for everything that he does to a patient, for admitting a patient, for discharging a patient. So we have two codes for discharging the patient. And um, what is your place of service for these two codes that I'm gonna tell you now? Well, the patient is still in the hospital, so the patient is still in place of service 21. And the two codes for the discharge, for discharging a patient, in your CPT code book 2020, 2020, in page 19, you have your two codes for discharging a patient, and these ones are super easy. Okay, so before I erase this, quick review for the initial inpatient hospital visit, place of service 21, you have three codes for the 
initial. And then after that, for any time the doctor goes to see the patient while the patient is in the hospital, um, you can build for one of these codes as many times as you need per day, okay? Now the patient got better and the patient is going home. So the doctor is going to discharge the patient and the doctor wants to get paid for that. So I am going to erase this and again, too high. We have two codes for this charge. 99238 and 99239. Our place of service is still 21 because the patient has not gone home. The patient is still in the hospital while the doctor is discharging the patient. Now, these two codes are super simple. If the doctor spends less than 30 minutes discharging the patient, giving instructions to the patient or giving instructions to the family members, reviewing everything, uh, giving him a follow-up appointment, giving him a prescription, anything that it takes time during the time while the doctor is discharging the patient, if he takes less than 30 minutes, then you are going to bill 99238, plain and simple. However, if the doctor takes more than 30 minutes discharging the patient, giving instructions to the patient or the family members, getting everything ready for the patient to be discharged, giving him instructions and everything that has to do uh, while discharging the patient, and it's more than 30 minutes, then you're gonna use 99239. So we have two codes to show to the insurance company that the doctor discharged the patient. If it's less than 30 minutes, 99238. Obviously, it's less money because it's less time spent. If it's more than 30 minutes, then it's gonna be 99239 because the doctor spent more time with the patient while uh, discharging the patient. Okay, don't complicate your life. That's it. There is two codes, there are two CPT codes for when the doctor discharges the patient. Less than 30 minutes, more than 30 minutes. Our place of service is still 21, okay? So uh, today we learned about the initial inpatient hospital visit, place of service 21, and we learned about the subsequent hospital inpatient visits place of service 21 inpatient and the discharge codes two codes one if the doctor spends less than 30 minutes 99238 or if the doctor spends more than 30 minutes while discharging the patient 99239 okay place of service is still 21. That's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. If one person, if one of you benefits from these videos, that's all I want to know. That's all I need in order for me to continue coming to present you with these videos. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. All right. Well, I'm going to see you in my next video. Still, we're still coding for the first section of the CPT code evaluation and management. There's still a few more codes that we need to learn before we move on. Okay. Remember, these videos are for beginners. These videos are for people that might be interested in learning more about billing and coding. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.